Stilson, and I'm going to read the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Comment down below if you heard of it or read it. Okay, let's go start. Comment down there in the comments. Actually, over here I need to comment. <laughs> okay. Rumpelstiltskin. Oh, I can't see. Rumpelstiltskin. By retold by Brenda Parkles, illustrated by Margaret Power. Once upon a time, there lived a shepherd and his daughter. One day, as the girl sat spinning, the king came riding by. What fine wool you spin, he said. Oh, that's nothing, boasted the shepherd. My daughter's so clever that she can even spin straw into gold. That's impossible. Store into gold, cried the king. Bring her at once to the royal palace. If if she can spin star into gold, I shall make her my queen. <laughs> I'm just using the accent. My queen. <laughs> that night, that night, the king led the girl to a smaller room filled with straw. This is my straw. Spin this straw into money, into gold by morning. He commanded. Then he locked the door, door and went away. <laughs> That's closing my door, right? <laughs> <Okay. Yeah. clears throat> the shepherd's daughter began to cry. <coughs> no, like this. This is the crying way. I cry like I cry like this. I cry like this. watery eyes, by the way. I cry like this. Guys, I cry like this. Ah! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Come on. <laughs> For she knew that she could not spin straw into gold. Then suddenly a sound and the little man appeared. Okay. I can I can spin straw. I can spin straw into gold, said the little man. Give me your necklace. And I will do it for you. Oh, thank you, thank you, said the girl. The little man took the necklace, then he began to spin. By morning, the room was filled up with glittering gold. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> when the king saw the gold, he was amazed. Tonight, you must spin even more, he commanded. That king is even so Even more. Dark. That even king. More. That king is so Surely selfish. Even more, and maybe this more. <laughs> <laughs> that night, the king led the girl to a large room filled with straw. Spin the straw into gold, my morning. By morning, morning, he commanded. Then he locked the door and went away. <laughs> the shepherd's daughter cried. <laughs> and cried, but soon the little man appeared. <laughs> I can spin all the straw into gold, he said. I Give me your scarf and I will do it for you. Oh, thank you, thank you, said the girl. That said the girl. The little man took the scarf, he, then he began to spin. Ding, ding, ding. By morning, ding, the ding, 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 ding. Fill with glittering gold. When he's when the king saw the gold, he was astonished. Tonight you must spin even more. He commanded. Ding 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 ding. Maybe this much. So he even more. He commanded. That night the king led the girl to an enormous room filled with straw. Spin this straw into a gold bar morning, he commanded, morning. and you <laughs> shall be my queen. And you shall be he, my queen. Then he locked the door and went away. Ding. One more, once more the little man appeared. Poof. Poof. <laughs> I can spin this much straw into gold, he said. What will you give me this time? I have nothing left. I have nothing left, sobbed the girl. Well then, said the little man, you must promise me to give 
to promise to give me your firstborn child. The, sadly, the girl gave her promise. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Yeah. This is a pinky promise. <laughs> That's a hard one. The little man Ooh. began to spin, and by morning the room was full of glowing gold. You When the king saw the gold, he was astounded. The very next day, he made the shepherd's daughter his queen. This is the most favorite, my most favorite part. The this, like the this, queen. Should I tell you my favorite part? That is tomorrow, tomorrow the queen must be rumble, silk, and will take her baby away. Oh no! She's like my introducer. <laughs> like. I love this part when the like sh the queens dress elegantly and they're like doing manly and I love it when everyone's like celebrating it and those maids the maid maids are like throwing flowers at There's even a small maid. <laughs> so yeah. Years passed and a baby prince was born. Then one day the little man appeared again. I have come for a firstborn child, he said. The queen had quite forgotten her promise to the little man. Please don't take my baby, she begged. I will give you anything else. You gave me your promise, said the little man. Now you must keep it. The queen wept and pleaded at last, the little man said. Well, very well, I shall give you one more chance. If you can guess my name in three days, you may keep your child. Then he disappeared. At once the queen sent all her messengers to try and discover the little man's name. The little man appeared the next day. Is The queen asked, is your name Fred or Ginna or Hunk? The little man laughed. No, you'll never guess. Then he disappeared. It's actually Rumble Stilts <laughs> Then he disappeared. On the second day, the queen asked, is your name Ivan or Jack or Ken? Okay. No, no. You'll never guess. You'll Last never one. guess. <laughs> Laughed the little man. One more day and the baby will be mine. No. I think he like, wants to rule the world. Just with the prince. <laughs> that's never, that's impossible. He. As the sun came up on the third day, a messenger galloped into the yard. No! <laughs> Your majesty, he cried. Last night I found a little house hidden in the forest and I saw a little man dancing and singing. Tomorrow, the, tomorrow the queen must pay. Rumpled still skin will take her baby away. Oh no. I can must to take the cute baby away. Then the little man appeared. Well, have you laughed? Have you guessed my name? The little man laughed. The little man appeared. Well, he laughed. Have you guessed my name yet? Is it Larry or Melon or Norman? No, no, laughed the little man as he reached out to take the baby. Is it Otto or Paddy or Quentin? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Give me the baby. Well, is your name Rumpelstiltskin? Asked the queen. Who told you? Who told you my name? <laughs> then stamping his feet, shouting with rage, the little man disappeared. Poof! Into fog air, to thin air. That was the last of. Can last you read this? Ever See if can you read this? Of Rumpelstiltskin and the queen and the king. And the king and the queen and the prince lived happily ever after. The end. I'm going to say this is the most funniest part out of the whole book. Like, Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Story time.